Hey everybody, TragicMTG here with a little bit of mail today. I've got one package from Cardsphere, literally from Cardsphere. Uh, Ted over there uh, congratulated me on my 5,000 subscribers and uh, hinted that he might send something for uh, me and Packbot over here. So here it is all the way from Canada and uh, to me here in the USA um, by airmail. And it says right here, the customs label is uh, 30 bucks Canadian so that's pretty generous whatever that is whenever I send stuff out of the country to Canada or Brazil or whatever I always say it's a dollar <laughs> as a gift so um, I don't know I didn't have to pay any taxes on this I know up there in the great white north you guys got to pay taxes on stuff that comes up from the US and a right um, I know I've got some viewers up there you let me know how do you feel about the taxes? Guys like Wizard of the Sticks and Simon Kosh, what do you guys think? Anyway, I'm gonna open this up and see what did I get here from Cardsphere. Everyone go check out Cardsphere if you haven't already. I got a link down below. Wow, look at this. I'm excited about this. He sent me candy. I see packs of cards in there, who cares? I got a Coffee Crisp Nestle. This is great, man, awesome. Is this? Canadian only I'm gonna have to check that out. I, I don't see this Down here in the great brown south of Arizona where I'm at um, It's got sugar and wheat flour. Yep, Canada Very cool. What else? Oh cool Wine gums. I've never heard of this Maynard's wine gums. I'm excited about this What What is this? It's like a sweet tart or something? I don't know if my gums can handle. Oh, it's like a jelly. So it's like a gummy crown. Sweet. All right, I'm gonna try it. it looks like kind of orange flavor. Okay, kind of got a hardness to it, like a Swedish fish. Interesting. <laughs> wow. Well, thanks, Ted. I'm gonna be chewing on that for a while, probably. That's very fun. All right, let's see. I got a little note here. Let me make sure. What does it say? Let's see here. Hey, Tragic. Congratulations on hitting 5,000 subs. I do all my very vicarious collection buying through your channel, and it's one of my favorites to listen to while working. Especially fun of pack bots. So I've enclosed some food for him. I know that you said he really favored unstable packs. Yeah, pack bot lives on unstable contraptions. Uh, but I think he's secretly building a, an unset cube, if I'm being honest. So... There weren't any at the LGS I happened to be at when I remember Packbot needed some feeding. I threw in some cards for your tokens, courtesy of Cardamajigs. I'll have to check them out too in stickers. And because it would be rude to feed tragic Packbot, not tragic, I also included some weird Canadian candy. Certainly is weird. It's not bad. It's definitely, it's, it's different. All right, I'll give it like an 8 out of 10. Here's the next 10,000 subs from Ted. Cool. Wow, thank you, Ted. What did we get here? in the mail all right looks like some tokens i love tokens i'm a nut for tokens i know people just throw them away i got a box of i don't know two four thousand of them and i don't know what i'm gonna do with them but i like kind of custom ones like this very cool trampled dinosaurs flying spirits these are great and some stickers some cars for stickers i'll stick those on everything all right one one flying Spirit creature tokens, solid man. Oh, and they even say cards for on the back. No haggling. You just you set your price, what you're willing to um, pay for something, and then people will send it to you. That's just how cards for works. Definitely check that out. More stickers, trampled dinosaurs. These are great. All right, thank you. Well, I better open these packs here. Let's see. Oh, Shadows over Innistrad, Gills of Ravnica, a Modern Horizons pack, excellent, Dominaria, and a Corset 2020. Well, better open these up and see what I got. This is exciting. All right, here we go. Corset 2020. All right. I know that uh, nobody cares about commons. I do. I like them. So I'm going to kind of somewhat quickly go through them. 
Unchained Berserker, Diamond Knight, Vengeful War Chief, got a legendary Chandra's Regulator, the the legendary artifact. All right, there it is. Okay, and we got another wolf token. Like I said, I love tokens. Dominaria pack. Going out of standard. Gonna start going up in price, I think. They already have. Gotta grow from the ashes. Look at that sword. That thing is cool. Cabal. The worm. The drake. Fight fire with fire. Seal away. Sylvan Awakening is the rare. So we got a legendary uncommon here. A Valduk, Keeper of the Flame. Very cool. And, oh, well, it's an uncommon. I don't know where it goes. It goes here. This one goes there. And uh, Guilds of Ravnica is next. Guilds, Guilds of Ravnica packs always seem to be, like, falling apart already when you get them. I've you know, several, opened several boxes. They're all like that. Definitely strains the packaging dark blade agent whisper agent got a bunch of agents troopers and shields join shields gird for battle golgari find broker Oop, and an ionize counter target spell it deals two damage to that spells controller solid got a guild gate and an elf knight shadows over innistrad i wasn't playing during this block um, I kind of got back into it after Eldritch Moon, so I haven't really had the pleasure of opening a lot of these. Thraven Inspector, that's a good card, or it was at least. Guidance, Vessel of Nascency, there's the twins, they're creepy. N All right, Nahiri's Machinations, Olvenwald Mysteries, Biting Rain, and a Bygone Bishop, two and a white Spirit Cleric Flying. 2-3, whenever you cast a creature spell with converted mana, cost 3 or less, investigate. Put a clue token in. So, clue tokens versus food tokens. You guys let me know. Here's a kindly stranger that flips to a demon-possessed witch. Sanitarium, skeleton, right? So, food tokens coming up in Throne of Eldraine. I think clues and treasures are just going to always end up being better. Um... But it's just nice to have token mechanics in our sets, right? Anyway, shut up, Tragic. Open this pack of Modern Horizons and see what you get. There's a zombie token that flips over to a spider token. I'm telling you, just love these things. There's Urza, the man, the myth, the golem creator. Got a snow-covered mountain. Got a foil talisman of hierarchy. That's good. And a nether spirit. One and two black, two two spirit. At the beginning of your upkeep, if nether spirit is the only creature card in your graveyard, you may return nether spirit to the battlefield. Very cool. Hey, and a scale up. That's a good uncommon. You can just blast your infect creatures in on like turn two. That's great. Um, yeah, it's uncommon. All these are uncommon. Throat Seeker and a Rot Widow Pack. Here come the commons. Putrid Goblin. Diabolic Edict. Spore Frog. Phantom Ninja. Cool. Hey, Ted and Cardsphere, thank you very much. Uh, I really appreciate it. Uh, everyone go check out Cardsphere. Use my link down below. And thanks for watching, as always. And I'll catch you on the next one.